Hey guys, Pete here. This will be my Is Varus a Targaryen video. I had this idea come up when researching my tourney at Harrenhal video and then again while I was working on a new prophecy video that I'm doing. So I just decided to look into this a little bit today. This theory's been around for a few years and while it might not be true just like any other theory, there is some interesting stuff to think about. I did a quick search before I started to write the script and found a popular video that has a similar theory, but that YouTuber came up with a different conclusion where Varus is a black fire so it's not exactly the same. Either way, let's get right into it. We all know Varys as the eunuch who is the Master of Whisperers on the Small Council in King's Landing. The Master of Whisperers basically spies for the King, and Varys has held this position since the reign of the Mad King, um, Aerys, before Robert's Rebellion. We also know that he helped Tyrion escape Westeros after he was sentenced to death, and his storyline changes in the books and the TV show at that point. I'm not going to get into the differences in this video because it would take way too much time, but in both storylines he seems to be motivated by the idea of a Targaryen restoration to the throne, or more probably putting a Blackfire in power in the books. Varys has an interesting backstory in which he rises to a position of power out of nowhere. Grand Maester Pycelle says that Varys was born a slave in lease, but Varys himself says he was orphaned and apprenticed to a traveling troop of mummers who frequented the free cities and at times performed in King's Landing or Old Town. During their stay in the free city of Mir, a man offered a large sum of money for Varys, an offer his master found too tempting to refuse. The man gave Varys a potion that made him powerless to move or speak, but didn't actually dull his sen senses, and then cut off his manhood. He then burned it in a brazier in a blood magic ritual. Varys claims to have held hatred for all things magical ever since. When I was working on the prophecy video, I rewatched the scene in season 6 with Kinvara and Marine, and this exchange between them stood out. Take what happened to you, Lord Varys, when you were a child. If not for your mutilation at the hand of a second-rate sorcerer, you wouldn't be here, helping the Lord's Chosen bring his light into the world. Knowledge has made you powerful. But there's still so much you don't know. Do you remember what you heard that night, when the sorcerer tossed your parts in the fire? You heard a voice call out from the flames, do you remember? After the sorcerer was finished with him, he threw Varys out in the streets, and by then the mummers had already left town, so he had to resort to begging and stealing to survive, and soon became a top-notch thief. He eventually heads to Pentos where he meets up with Illyrio and the two become rich as a result of Varys' skills as a thief. Eventually they realized that stealing secrets was more valuable than anything else and Varys started training his little birds so they could aid him in their plotting. As mentioned, Varys came to King's Landing to serve the Mad King Aerys after the defiance at Duskendale when the king had really reached the height of his paranoia. The king didn't trust anyone in Westeros so he brought Varys in to serve as his spy master. None of that makes him a Targaryen though, so what the hell is this video actually about? Well, Varys does a lot of inexplicable things, and he always says his motivation is for the good of the realm. But if you really look into some of the things he does, especially in the books, it's really hard to follow, and it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. While his loyalty is questionable towards the houses Baratheon and Lannister, he, he was actually loyal to King Aerys. He alerted him about the supposed plot that the Crown Prince set up to get rid of him by calling a council at Harrenhal, and he warned Aerys not to let Tywin Lannister enter the city during Robert's Rebellion. Again, that's not evidence, so let's look at what we actually have. By all accounts, Varys is born in Lys. It, it just so happens that Arian Brightflame Targaryen was exiled there in the year 208 where he fathered at least one child. In 232, Arian drank wildfire and died. In 233, King Makar the I died. A great council was called to determine succession. The two eldest sons, including Arian, were already dead. So the council noted that Arian left behind an infant son, but they passed on the idea of offering him the crown because he was born outside of Westeros and he was a bastard. Instead, they offered to crown Maester Aemon, who refused it, and then the crown went with King Aegon V, who was known as King Aegon the Unlikely. In 243, the Mad King Aerys was born. In 248, Arian's bastard son would have been 16, and that's about the normal time whenever people start to have kids in 
you know, in Westeros and Essos. And this is probably when Varys could have been born. In 259, Prince Rhaegar is born. 276, King Aerys summons Varys to court to become a spy master. If he was born in the rage between Aerys and Rhaegar, that would have put Varys in around his mid-20s. 282 through 283 was Robert's Rebellion, and that's when most Targaryens die. In 300, which is around present time, that would mean that Varys is around his early 50s. So the timing really kind of makes sense, but you have to believe that, um, you know, Arian was his grandfather. One thing that the Kinvara scene made me think about, and something that the original poster brought up in relation to this theory, is that the sorcerer bought him to use in a blood magic ritual. This could be an indication that he has king's blood, which is something that Melisandre is always looking for to use in her own rituals. And that's our main, you know, that's our main reference for blood, blood magic rituals. I know it's a lot of circumstantial evidence, but it would answer some questions related to his mysterious motives. What impact it's going to have going forward doesn't seem that important as far as the show is concerned since he's already backing Daenerys, but why don't you guys tell me in the comments what you think? I mean, it opens some doors, and um, I think the timeline at least makes it possible. And another thing is, with Arian Brightflame, we learned about his exile and to Lys in later works, so it's definitely possible that it was thrown in there by George R. R. Martin for that reason. Not to mention, the name Varys looks a little Targaryen in the first place. I mean, if you just add an E in there, then you're all set. Um, <laughs> but that's not obviously good evidence. I'll put a link in the description so you can find the original Reddit thread to check it out. The one big problem with the idea is that Varys sent assassins after Daenerys, and honestly I don't have a good answer for that. We know in the books he has someone else he's trying to put on the throne, but that the show doesn't even have that character, and it still doesn't really make sense. Um, he would still want to protect to protect her most likely, so I really don't know. If you have an idea, go ahead and post it in the comments. Please like the video if you think it's an interesting theory, and definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do me a favor and subscribe to my channel, and check back for more Game of Thrones related videos in the near future. Thanks for watching, I'll talk to you soon.